Yay, we're going to a realm with merfolk and sea people like tritons. So I've been looking at some maps. Capstone upon Hull is south of Goldpaw, right? I know we've already been there, but I happen to have plot-based amnesia. <laughs> Aye. Aye, that it be. And we've to visit a swab by the name of Wright. Or so Pugnacious tells me. Mm. I do hope we can convince some of the good shipwrights to join us. <laughs> that we will, Evan lad. That we will. The best in the business. Don't worry, I've got about a hundred feet of rope. We can kidnap about ten people. Maybe more. Especially if we tie them up together. Bargain price! I just want, <laughs> I just want Lofty to just keep saying <laughs> really sinister stuff. Like, every uh, single time. Sinister? Yeah, just talking about, like, kidnapping people and just, like, a bunch of other, like, <laughs> kind of worrying things. Ah, oh, still can't level up anything. Ah, uh, research. Can I do this? No. This? No. This? Yes. I have nobody that works here. Uh... The funny thing is, some of these people you're actually going to be bringing with you on this quest overseas. I think they should really block them out to say, you can't... You ate the rest of them. You had a brownie earlier today. But they're the cookie brownies. Well, we've got other brownies. Uh, this is like two two bucks a box. Nah, that's true. We really should start buying more of those instead of the more expensive ones from anywhere else. Mm-hmm. Well, didn't you also get lemon tarts and angel food cake yeah, and... Yeah, we've got a couple of different things we can try out. Well, I want an angel food cake. <laughs> trying to figure out which of these characters are useful in different spots so I can take the ones that aren't useful. Already got Bygone. She's busy. Gotcha. Okay, that should be enough. I know you don't like management, but I'm going to do a little bit. Just while we're here. Uh, let's see. Research. What else do we have? So that's level 2 armor development. Uh, it's the same place, so I can't do anything with that. Efficient apparel. That's the same place. I guess I just never did any research out of this town. If people were wondering why I was commenting, I oh. baked some... You can get a bunch more citizens from the bird shop guy that I can't remember the name of right now. Bird shop guy. <laughs> a bird shop? Yeah, we had gone out to the store and uh, they had some like prepackaged brownie mixes that had, what was it like? There were caramel and caramel, peanut. Caramel, cookie, cookie, peanut, yeah. Cookie, so we decided to get the cookie version because what's well, better than having like chocolate chip cookies with brownies? Like that's really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm? What about Minty? Oh, uh, uh, Minty uh, is passing on a message that the leaders of the Gold Bar may want to have a mock battle. So we can get side quests from our own people. Ah. They're randomly generated, I think. Oh! Well, hmm. that's okay. Uh, but effectively, mm. you know, more side quests. So I'll mm -hmm. pick these up. Uh, I'm just going to quickly pick these up. Uh... So they are giving you quests, and that gets you recipes. Oh, that's the kind of stuff I was looking for, but I would only like it if we read all the dialogue, because that adds to the lore of the game. <sighs> okay. Letter tied to an arrow. Okay. We managed to pluck it out of the air. Oh, goodness. At but who would send second. a letter like that? Yourself, okay. Dear Mr. Imposter, there's only one king of the Heartlands, mate, and that's me. So I've taken Merlan back, and I'll take your castle and all, if you don't mind. Ha <laughs> ha, catch you around, mate. Tyran, real king of the Heartlands. Mm. Tyran? He's the bandit we fought when we first came to the Heartlands, isn't he? Uh, 
The very same lad. Uh, and it seems he thinks he can claim some of our precious territory. Well, he may think that. But we can't let him take our land. And we certainly can't let him take our castle. Yeah. To blessed right we can't. But have no fear. We'll soon send a swabs a packin'. I took liberty of posting a sentry outside the castle walls. Why not go and inquire as to the lay of the land? Mm. I will, thank you. And I shall make sure those bandits don't cause too much trouble. <laughs> okay. Go speak with the soldier who I'll went to scout things that out. that one. I don't know if we have any other side quests here. I'll grab this one. Most of these I'm going to do off camera, but I wanted to pick them up just in case these characters throw more side quests our way. Well, I think this is a better way of doing things if you can upgrade the town with quests. Yeah, honestly, to... I, I find the whole, like, real-time aspect really boring. That's why I did the whole time thing, because, yep. like... Okay, so are we going to go to Capstan uh, on the hill? Sort of. We're going to go find... There's a soldier over here that I want oh, to Oh, we already have the the fight? No, that's, that's a fight we already did. No, I just want to talk to this hey guy. There. Bad news, your majesty. Tyrion and his men are here, and it seems they're ready to strike at any moment. He's here already? Gosh. Then we'll ha just have to chase him away. Very good, sire. Your forces are set to march at your command. See? Okay, there we go. Battle. Well, no, we don't have to do it. Okay. Yeah. Level Skirmish 19. level is 19. So no, we are not doing that one. <laughs> we are not the right level. Like I said, gotta grind. Okay, gold paw. We want to go to the Lucky Star Casino. Why? Is there something there? At the Lucky Star Casino in Goldpaw, there's a guy that runs quick solutions that will give you quests to do. And will get you coins you can use to acquire citizens and army people. Oh, hmm. that's nice. Uh, is it this guy? It's this guy. <laughs> Poor guy. Well, hello there. You, my young friend, like to help people. I can see that from a mile off. And if I'm not very much mistaken, this is your first time here at Swift Solutions, correct? Ho oh, ho! Well, you've asked for it now. My lecture on the wonders of this fine establishment it's f is famous all over the world for its length and density. Deep breath now. <gasps> Swift Solutions is where people from all over the world come from, uh, come from <laughs> when they have something they need doing. From the smallest favor to the grandest quest, they all come through us. And those who carry out these errands are rewarded with the lovely little coins called Tokens of Gratitude. They're really quite incredible. And when you've collected enough of them, you can trade them with me for special prizes or for hints on where to find new citizens to recruit for your kingdom. <laughs> and you'll so certainly confident. be wanting to employ that later service. There are plenty of people in the world who want to come to ever more through me. What's that I hear, you ask? What happens if I finish all the tests and switch solutions hash after? Ho oh, ho, that's like asking what'll happen if the sun stops shining. People always need a little favors doing. So if you happen to find, finish all the tasks I have to offer you, just wait a little while and more will be along soon enough. And that's pretty much the gist of what we have here. I say it's more me, really. I man all of our branches, you see. Don't ask how. It's a trade secret. I cloned myself a bunch. <laughs> Don't talk to the one in Ding Dong Dale. He's really creepy. If you're good at cloning yourself, <laughs> can you possibly clone limbs? You see, my pirate friend, he was inquiring about- Third legs, gotcha. <laughs> 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 All right, that's quite enough for me. It's time for you to run an errand or two. Welcome to Swift Solutions. Welcome to Swift Solutions, where the world goes where to find- Yeah, goes to find help in times of need. Now, what can I help you today? Take on tasks. Okay, request from the press. Yes. Wait, but what the quests have dialogue written for them. They're all fetch quests. Yes, but I want to know more about this world and fetch quests. They they actually, you know, give some flavor. Okay. Repeat it repeat uh finish uh, finish quests. Okay, request from the press. An apothecary over in Goldpaw is too busy to go out and look for herbs and such. And asked if someone might be able to do some foraging for him. Okay. Yay! Hot, Hot dog, dog cuisine. Ah, uh, let's see. Well, our families in Goldpaw are often graced with local dish that features plenty of minced meat with lashings of chili oil. Mmm. Wants hot dogs. Yay! Get milk. Yes, 
One's from a young poppin' gold pot who tells us he wants to be taller. Fortunately, he's not asking for us to make uh, take matters into our own hands and stretch him out. He only <laughs> wants a good supply of milk to grow big and strong on. Milk. Calcium. Putting the gold gold pot. Do you know we count on a prestigious goldsmith and gold pot among our regulars? The errands from them. Fear not, they might be one of our biggest customers. But the errands only a simple request is uh, for as much ore as an adventurer might stumble across on his daily travels. Uh, I have a lot of iron. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. Uh, Aaron's from the Lady in Gold Pose. She's something a trendsetter. A trendsetter. She's after materials, bright red clothes. Do we really have to read these? Okay. She They're, wants to find things that are naturally this color. Okay, so what, what are you getting her? This isn't lore. Okay, fine. I'm upset. I mean, I'd be down if it wasn't other stuff. Oh. Uh... Oh, now you can trade for items. Yeah. Well, no. Uh, oh, you're getting... They want. They want uh, certain items that I have. You already plenty have plenty of. Oh, great. Okay. Trade tokens of gratitude. Scout new citizens. Uh, so I can just grab all of these. So these I wouldn't mind reading. Uh, okay. So we have young main, the trainee guard. One of Goldpaw's best trainee guards is an enthusiastic pup called Young Mane. Word is that she is expected to become one of the world's finest spear wielders. Gao Jia has endorsed her personally. She would surely make a fine addition to your army. Ooh. Chi Pi, the master carpenter. Chi Pi isn't just the finest carpenter in all of Goldpaw. He's a very likable fellow to boot. It's more here he's always carrying in on the idea of moving to another kingdom. I'm sure he'd be more than happy to join forces with such a helpful young king. Ah, Chu. The caring blacksmith. A blacksmith by the name of Ah Chu is very impressed with the way you've been helping the locals. Though a dedicated professional, she also has a soft spot for nice young men like you. Ask her to move into your kingdom and I'm sure she'll agree. Okay. Yukon, the kind teacher. Yukon is a kind-hearted woman who much lo is much loved by the young pups of Goldpaw. It seems she's interested in moving to Evermore. It hasn't quite worked out uh, th that you're the king just yet. You better go and talk to her. Why, she thinks you're another student or something? Maybe. Just a young kid. Fitch, the friendly blacksmith. Do you remember a blacksmith from Ding Dong Dell by the name of Fitch? I hear he escaped from the kingdom and now works for Master Sharpay in the Iron Orchid. Perhaps he might be more interested in moving to Evermore. Sweet. Okay. Okay, we don't have any more. Go back. We don't have any more tasks. Great. I want to trade for items just to see what... None of these are... Are there any that are ridiculously expensive? No, this is all garbage. Most of them are up to ten coins. Yeah, I don't care. Oh, by the way. Okay. And then I think the rest of these are just like... Quests. How Can we do this you? one? Uh, this is your lucky day. I'm looking for someone who I can share my tale. And what a tale it is! An account of such bravery and daring do I'm sure to provide a source of strength and inspiration. It begins a half century ago when I was but a young pup trying to make my way in the world. I stabbed a man, took his gold, and ran away. There we go, done. <laughs> best make yourself comfortable, Evan. Oh, best make yourself comfortable, Evan. I've got a feeling this will be a long one. Mm -hmm. It does sound interesting, though. In fact, I'm rather looking forward to hearing it. Cor, you really are a wide-eyed innocent, aren't you? No wonder you got scammed. Right. And so I went on to dazzle the world with my battlefield prowess. I traveled to distant kingdoms and smote entire herds of porks. I took to the high seas and suppressed schools of ferocious fangfish. I once even fought down a wave worm with a single well-placed arrow. Oh, brought down. <laughs> I was an unstoppable. I was unstoppable, invincible. The world's greatest warrior. Gosh, gosh, that's well, incredible is the only word. <laughs> arf, arf! You are impressed, I see, and no doubt you are wondering how to, how you two might develop such a reputation. Yes. Well, fear not, young man. I've prepared a trial for you. Go fight a random monster. A trial. I'm sorry. I gotta he blow just... my nose. <laughs> It's, I'm just breathing and it just happens. 
Okay. Well, at least finish with this. Indeed, so you are to journey to the shrine near the city and take on a fearsome monster by the name of Conflagra. An ominous smoke that surrounds her will make her easy enough to recognize. I know where that word comes from, conflagration. Ominous smoke? That sounds familiar. Yeah, man. It certainly does, Mud. I think we both know what we're dealing with by your... Mm. She is a vicious creature, and no mistake. She seems to enjoy nothing more than the sight of hapless travelers turning tail and fleeing in terror of her ferocious onslaughts. Which is not to say I could not have triumphed over her in my younger days, of course. But now I'm much more flammable. Do you see the spirit? It burns easy. But age has taken its toll. My powers, I fear, are on the wane. I know better than to seek such confrontations now. Oh. Utter silence. What's happened? Oh, but what? Okay, fine. The music came back. Yeah. Whew. It's time for the younger generation to take over. You must smite the beast in my stead. And in doing so, you'll prove yourself worthy of being my successor. Arf, arf, arf. All right. Uh, All right, I'll do it. I'll go and defeat that monster for you. Thanks. Excellent. I knew you would not let me down. Are you sure about this, Mud? I mean, have you really thought about... <sighs> Shut up, mm. Lofty. What is there more to think about, Lofty? If this monster's <laughs> been infected by that awful darkness, someone's got to deal with her, or else we'll all be in trouble. And besides, I want to see if I'm as good as he was. <laughs> Uh -huh. Never fight something more than twice your size, is that what he's saying? My my main problem with a lot of these is it's just a fetch quest telling us to go, like, kill something that I would go kill on the world anyway. Okay, whatever, I'll do the, I'll do with these What later. I find more annoying is when you kill something in the world and then you get a quest to kill it again. Yeah. <laughs> like, I... I don't mind having plot reasons for going off to, like, do random side quests. Is that a woman? Yeah. That's a woman. Yep. Um, just wearing sort of, like, bandage tube tops. But, like, he just wants us to go kill a tainted monster, but sometimes they want us to just kill regular monsters. And it's just kind of infuriating how many lines of dialogue were written for, Go kill one thing for me. Bleh. Hmm? <laughs> how, how, how do you do? You're always a king of an old puggy told us to expect, huh? Hello. Yeah, yes, that, that's me. Mm. Yeah, you're a bit shorter than I was imagining. But nice to meet you, your majesty. My name's right. It's a gaffer around these parts. Puggy told me what you were after, but I'm not best fixed to help you just now, if I'm honest. Oh. Really? Has something happened? Oh, I... You could say that, I. It were a few days back now, a load of boats were out fishing when a monster showed up and smashed a lot of them to bits. A bunch of the youngins went out looking to snicker-sneeze the thing, but the poor blokes may the ever been back since. I would have a mind to go out after the reckless wallies, but I said... And I get wild like it's not. Uh huh. So that's where everybody went. Hi. Hey, Evan. If we help them out, they'll owe us a favor, won't they? Yes. Yes. And besides, we can't very well just leave them to their fate. Mr. Wright, we'll go out and see what's happened to the other villagers. Oh, oh, oh. Sure, I'm pretty. You do that well. Go on then. I'll not turn down an offer I have held. The horrible thing lives in an old shrine down the coast. I only hope the lads are all right. But he smashed them up boots like they were not. Watch this out, sight. <laughs> can't just use the same old man voice for <laughs> No, I understand. Gosh, it's quite not as lively as I imagined it. Got a handful of glam clams. I read that as you got a handful of clam glams, and I'm like, <laughs> what the hell's a clam glam? <laughs> Why am I uncomfortable? Clam glands. Oh, ah, uh, uh, oh, ugh. Treasure chest. Sending this might be a pain in the ass. Uh, can I? 
No. That's a ladder, but eh, uh, no, you have to go around, yeah. probably. Yeah, I guess so. Or down, or something. So he said that they might be, what, washed ashore? No, we're going to a shrine down here. Oh. There are, uh, all the, all the youngins are off to fight the beast, and we have to go fight the beast ourselves. It's probably like, it's, I don't know, Ooh. somewhere we've already been to. Whoa, a bunch of goo. You ready and for a blue this? goo. Not for long. Whee! Wait, was that one called a pudico? Possibly. I haven't had pudding have been a in a long time. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sorry. Uh, I mean, it's gonna be too late if we go out grocery shopping tomorrow, but I'm sure you could get pudding while you're uh while you're in New York. Well we are going when you get back. grocery shopping tomorrow. Yeah, but like are you really gonna make pudding, uh, buy pudding just to make it tomorrow night? I guess you could. You know. Well, no, no. There, there's also Koji Shack, like the rice pudding. Oh, mm. if we could get rice pudding tomorrow, that'd be lovely. Rice you pudding. Should, is you should. Cool. You should learn how to make rice pudding, honestly. Well, I would assume that rice pudding is sort of similar to making the like Thai sweet rice, except you use probably more cream rather than melted sugar and coconut milk. Yeah. Cause I would love it if you could learn how to how to make a ooh, dragon. Uh, I'd love it if you could learn how to make a. And don't you usually rice have pudding. like cinnamon and other things you put in there too? Yeah, possibly. I feel like there's more enemies from the uh, the groups that we're fighting nowadays. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there are. They and they're more varied too. I didn't expect whamsters to be with oozes and delphines and. Get back here! I wish to murder. Victory. Well, considering the sheer number of side quests I'm gonna have to do and grinding and whatnot, we could probably uh, go grind. Not grind. Uh, we could probably go grocery shopping for a couple of things tomorrow. Specifically, I was thinking. Uh, eh, I don't know if we want to go all the way out to the uh, Asian grocery store. Oh, for like things like mochi and stuff. Yeah. Nah, I. I just really need to pick up a bin if we're going to be transporting those lamps. Yep. And I always need more bins for all the fabric I have. Did the stream go down? I don't know. It doesn't look like it did. Might just be a blip. Might just be on their end. I don't know, it's one Whoa, of those Oh, wait, where... that's not the monster, is it? No. Oh, no. <laughs> uh... You're not going after the wave room. Yeah, pass on that. I really like this game. Well, I can know it's got like a bunch of kind of half-baked mechanics. Like the kingdom management, I think, would be a lot more interesting. Mm -hmm. Um. But I do, I don't know, I do really enjoy the, uh... Ooh, red. I would like to see more Higgledies. Well, part of it is I have to cook them. You have to cook, cook Higgledies, yeah. Or you have to find them. I mean... Oh, they remind me. Oh, more spells or something? We'd, we'd made a spell for Roland. Oh. Um, but I, I never actually equipped it. I forgot. You I wasn't paying purples. attention. Here goes but nothing. I should probably oh. try it. I don't know what it did. <laughs> I used but anything, it. you just sort of waved your hand and got hit by a couple of enemy attacks. Hmm. Yeah. Not sure. Let's see. Did I ever get the uh the thing by the flame dragon? I don't think I did. We didn't have whatever was required. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so it, it's a shockwave that knocks enemies back. Oh, okay. I'm so glad that all of Great the... Great uh, healing Higgledies. Yeah, I'm really glad that the uh, the Higgledies are healers. Mm -hmm. I, I think that uh, is actually like a really nice... Well, it's benevolent little Kodama spirit. Yeah. That seems like it'd be fitting. 
Though I don't even know what the Kodama are supposed to do in Princess Mononoke. Just Mascot. sit in the trees Jiggle. and rattle Jiggle their heads. Ominously. Rattle. It's like. Let's see, we got a dripping ring. Though if you think about it, it's possible that the reason why they sound that way is because it's like the rustling in the leaves or cicadas in the trees. Yeah, I think it actually uh, straight up is like a uh, some kind of phenomena that... Like, it was either a bug or... Probably cicadas. For this. Or, yeah, it might have been cicadas I mean, or whatever. if you ever watch an anime, there's always that summer scene Well, no, like, this is, this is legitimately, like, a thing where the Japanese thought it was, like, spirits in the trees, but no, it was, like, a bug or something. Well, cicadas would do the trick. You, like, I, I, it's weird. I've only ever seen cicadas in the shell, I should say, because they're not really that fleshy, in the shell here, you know? Yeah. Like, we've only ever really seen them alive well, here. I mean, up we've in, never been to Japan, so. Well, up in New York, they would just stick oh, up were. really high in the trees, and you would only ever see their they molted exoskeletons. everywhere in, uh, in North Carolina when I lived there. It was awful. Yeah, but I've never seen, like, live ones that are flying around before. Here in Kansas, <laughs> I've seen live ones flying around. Uh, no, they, they flew. Well, and they you, died. You, you encountered one of those mass, like, yeah, awakenings. Yeah, the 17 year swarms or whatever. The swarm. Effectively, the road was so covered in, uh. Bug guts. In bug guts that, uh, it was creating, like, slippery. Yeah, slip, like, slippery hazards and ice, icy conditions ish. <sighs> Why was it the winter? What? No, no, it was, it was like spring, summer, something like that. Okay, so but you're, their you're guts just saying were that... just everywhere. Their guts and their shells it was gross and slippery. And were they green ugh. or orange? Green, orange, brown, kind of in there. Okay. That's interesting. The ones up in New York are sort of like a green, black on top, and they're white on underneath. <laughs> And I noticed that they had, like, some of those here, but most of the ones here were orange with red eyes. Wasn't that interesting? The stripes. It was interesting. Different we cicadas. barely heard the cicadas the first summer that we were here. And then the second cicadas, they were... Oh, uh, the second year, they got really loud. Well, maybe it's just different breeding seasons, different yeah, times they come out. And they also have different calls, too. Because the ones up in the northeast were just sort of like a ee, ee, like it's a constant, whereas these ones are like <laughs> the briny shrine. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. This game visually reminds me a lot of World of Final Fantasy. I know you weren't particularly fond of that game from, like, afar. Honestly, it had a really bad plot. Mm -hmm. The plot was kind of a nothing, but the gameplay was fun. Probably one of the better monster collection games I've played in ages. <sighs> Can't help but notice a glaring lack of shipbuilders. Did the wretched creature gobble them all up, do you think? Hey! Over there! Do you see? There's something on top of that platform. Oh yeah! Let's go and take a closer look, shall we? Can you say boss fight arena? It looks like a stone portal or throne or... What? Oh no, it's an altar. A pool of water. Ugh. Ew, is there something in that? That's a person in there. Ew. What exactly is it? Uh... Um... Some kind of cocoon? Or egg or something? <laughs> what? what? What's that? Blimey! Oh my gosh! There's someone inside it! Huh? You mean to say there are people in them? 
Every one of the blasted things. I didn't expect a spider to be in an oceanside cave. It's not a spider. What is it? What makes things like this? It's an octopus. Or a squid or something. But it's gotta be. But they do ink. They don't <laughs> do web. I'm calling it now. Do? And we'd best get the poor swabs out. Watch it be like a crab hmm. spider hybrid, considering they're both arachnids. Careful, we're not alone. Or eight legged. Or actually, does they have ten? <laughs> spider squid. Spider squid. Does what? whatever a spider squid does. Please tell me. I don't know. This thing's weird. Oh, so it's just jelly goo. It's a jelly octopus. Watch your uh. We have to hurry those poor people on. It's got lasers! <laughs> it's a laser spider squid. Lasers with <coughs> eyeballs on its tentacles? Or what's going no, on? No, those are teeth. No, 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 no. There's also eyeballs. Oh my god, this thing is pathetic. <laughs> yep. You missed. You have enough eyes to. Yeah. Ow. Okay, a little bit more accurate there. Roll away. Ow! Stop! Stop pulling me. I'm, tr I'm trying to. I'm trying to higgle me. Fine. Well. Take that. Take that. Higgledy, higgledy, higgledy. Now I wonder if that's a protective shell that it created for itself, or is it it's something that it sort of moved into, whatever. Holding its head in place. I think I just found a nice hat. <laughs> Come on! Come on, we have to free them! <sighs> oh. They wear fundoshis. <laughs> hey, thank Cranky we're out of there. I thought we were a goner. You brayed the beast and good and proper, eh? Right tasty you are. Not like us a lot. Is everybody safe? Mr. Wright was awfully worried about you all. Ha! I'll bet he were. It'll be not going done. They'll not get done without us all gummed up in here. We best get back sharpest, or we'll never hear the end of this. Dura. Right out, lad. Tell off for now. See you back at the captain, yeah? <laughs> I can't <laughs> voice act right. that. It's just garbled gook. All right, captain, it is. Anything else in the cave, or just... We got some loot. Some antifreeze bone mail. Cool. Ah, uh, quick the skills... Now, was that an invader, or was it always something that people worshipped in times long past? Oh. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, the other bag's open. Robin's eggs. Yeah, so part of the reason why that thing was extra weak was because I have my tactic tweaker set up entirely for, uh, stomping slimes. Oof. Okay. Let's see. Trip door map. Well. Oh, let's get our boat. Yay! We can find even bigger monsters. Oh. Out at sea. Hurry up, your majesty. Let's go back to safe and town. You've got Captain upon a bright big favor, and then some. <laughs> you should have seen them, righty. The kid's a flippin' animal. Clobber that thing what snatched us up like it were not, boss. <clears throat> what were you calling kid, you sackless those? <laughs> this ain't some bane from down the road. It's a king. King Evan of the Heartlands, so I'll have you know. Whoa! Sure up! King at all. At his age. Uh, I don't actually know. It's which... the guy on the right. Okay. What? What's some king over till all the farmers of the county <laughs> rescue the largest of We need shipbuilders. And Mr. Wright told us that his shipbuilders needed all help. All. So that's I'm it, not eh? Pronouncing things well, King Evan, 
If it's boat builders you need, you found your blokes. What are you after exactly? A nice fishing boat, maybe? Uh, something to live in. We can do your right good houseboat if you need one. We need something big and hard wearing. We plan to sail around the world. Hydropolis first. Then, well, who knows? <laughs> ha! Right around the flipping world, he says, like it's not. Well, I hate to disappoint you, but you'll not get ocean going boat out of any of the wood we got around here. Now, you'll be needing something proper and hard wearing. The waves will soon wallop you to pieces otherwise. Mm. Hard wearing wood, hmm? I think we'd better go and speak with Neil. Neil. Isn't it Neil? Neil. With Neil. Neil. <laughs> Neil, I need... He'll know of something we can use, I'm sure. Neil. I see a bird. Fuck it up. Hey, don't you swear like that. <laughs> I think that's what he said. No. <laughs> Willie really now. Well, you best go and ask your mate, Nate. Neil. Then, eh? Let us know when you've had word with him. Oh, why? I don't know. We have a debt of gratitude to be paying you back. Let's go get wood. Yay, blow nose. <laughs>